Hey, welcome to Biocode. In this video, we will see how we can utilize cut a tool that is provided built in by Linux distribution. In it is available in every Linux distribution, and we can utilize this tool for uh, data pre-processing, especially for bioinformatics data pre-processing. So suppose, uh, as you know, that uh, we uh, we work uh, heavily and uh, most commonly related to CSV files, tab delimited files, and various that sort of files in genomics analysis and uh, overall bioinformatics analysis as well. So the data is textual most of the time, about 95% of the time and 100% of the time we have that data uh, in tab delimited or uh, either in CSV format or in uh, TXT uh, format as well. format as well so we need to actually pre-process data to to actually analyze that data later on using any programming language such as python or our language but uh, first of all to go down that road we have to actually pre-process data to accomplish some sort of uh, uh, scenarios in which we need to extract a particular data set from the entire data set so we need to utilize a certain linux provided tools such as uh, our earlier grab tool and various other tools. So, CUT is one of those tools that allow us to pre-process our data set. And uh, as you know that uh, genomics files are, uh, genomic annotation files are provided in GFF format and they and they are either provided in bed format or GFF format. So, we have to actually, uh, let's suppose that as we saw previously in grab video that how we could uh, find a particular uncharacterized protein and data set from the entire genome or proteome. So how can we actually extract a particle co column from that file? So for example, if you uh, consider this uh, proteome file that we have from HPV, uh, this is a HPV proteome file that is actually a GFF format, but it is in tabbed and delimited fi file. So as you can see that we have columns such as entry, entry name, the status and the protein names, gene name is provided, organism name is provided, which is a human papilloma virus. Then we have the length of the protein and finally uh, other information is also available. So suppose that we want to actually extract certain columns out of this uh, file and as you uh, have demonstrated over here, we will discuss and this was just to demonstrate to provide your context of what you will be learning in this video. So suppose that I have I am heading over this file and uh, these are the columns that we see entry, entry name, status, proteins which we saw earlier and then